I, I remember it really well because at that point, Spandau had completely lost the plot. We thought we were the biggest band in the whole universe, right? And we were Called living an in... Called ego. We, yeah, <laughs> it, our egos had yeah. left the planet. And yeah. we were living in this Spandau Ballet bubble, right? So I remember getting a call from Bob Geldof the night before. We were in Germany somewhere and saying, can you fly back to Heathrow tomorrow because we're going to do this record, you know, mm. Band-Aid. And so we flew back. And as we arrive, right, so we get there. I'll have to stand up and show you this. <laughs> and as we get there... Uh, Banana Rama are turning up in this little, little, this little mini. I don't know where he's right? going and, and as they stop, all the windows open and all the smoke comes out, the cigarette smoke comes out. Paul Weller comes walking along, he's got his telegraph under his arm. Yeah. Spandau, lost the plot, turn up in this giant limousine, the way that the Queen would use, one of those. Oh, yeah. right? So we all come pile out the, the limousine, and there's all the kids screaming and shouting this side, there's all the press this side taking photographs. And one of the uh, news crews goes up to Steve Norman, the saxophone player in the band, and he says to Steve, Steve, have you got anything you can say to the poor people of Ethiopia? Oh, no. And Steve goes, yeah, I'd just like to say, um, sorry we couldn't get down there this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but we're till the next year. <laughs> but we had, we had completely lost the plot by that yes, point. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>